Hello everyone. This is Dr. Shamla Devi from the Department of MBA International Business Management Studies, Ajay Nagarshya University. I am coming to today's topic. Our topic is regarding executive development. Okay. So, what is executive development? What is the concept of executive development? Uh, the need and importance. Okay. We are going to learn. Okay. Now. What is the meaning of executive development? Okay, so uh, management development or executive development, it is a systematic and continuous process of learning and growth. Okay, it is the overall development of the competency of managerial personnel or executives in the light of the present requirement as well as the future requirement. So that is known as the uh, management development or the executive development so in order to improve the performance of the existing managers and to provide a planned growth for managers why because in order to meet the future organizational requirements definitely executive development is necessary okay so management development means it implies the increase in the or else the improvement in the performance of existing managers how through the activities okay through the activities designed by the organization why to improve the performance of existing managers okay and this ex executive development means it is the program by which executives capacities to achieve the desired objectives okay so or else in order to achieve the organizational objectives the executive development program is needed in an organization okay the development of executive talent is uh, one of the most important and complex tasks of the management okay so developmental activities are not only limited to the new employees here okay we have to consider the existing employees too okay naturally uh, training or this uh, improvement of uh, the employee may be regarded for the newly joined employee okay but we have to consider the existing employee also they also need some kind of training or a development improvement in their performance should be there for the existing employees also why because in order to cope up with the changing environment in the uh, industry field okay so according to the for example technological changes in the environment okay industrial environment or else organizational needs okay all these uh, leads to the uh, uh, activities designed by the organization for the improvement of the performance of the executives or employees in the organization we can say that this is an or ongoing process okay uh, this uh, why means uh, it consists of all those programs and activities which are designed to improve the skills and potential executives both for the present and future job assignments so we can say that it is a continuous or an ongoing process okay so through this uh, activities uh, designed uh, may be okay result in the uh, advancement of the knowledge okay improving the skills capabilities potentialities of the employees okay so uh, it is mainly uh, related to the self-development of the employees. Therefore, development is more akin to education than to training. Okay. So, it involves developing whole person physically, mentally and socially. So, we can say that executive development is a whole thing related to a person. Okay. So, here there were different definitions given by uh, Michael Jusius, Edwin Flippo. Okay, so they said that executive development is the program by which executive capacities to achieve the desired objectives is increased. Okay, that means the objectives of the organization can be accomplished 
whenever the executive's performance levels are enhanced or increased okay then only the organizational objectives can be accomplished next coming to according to edwin flippo so he has given management development or executive development includes process by which managers and executives acquire not only the skills and competencies in their present jobs but also capabilities for future managerial tasks of increasing difficulty and scope okay why because our businesses are, are uncertain okay so therefore in order to ascertain the future problems okay definitely the managers or the employees in the organization they should improve their performance levels capabilities knowledge skills competencies etc so whenever all these can be acquired by the executives in the organization they can fulfill the tasks in the organization okay so now <coughs> So we can say that these uh, programs or activities were designed by the top level management to the middle level and lower level management who directs and coordinates and controls the various activities of the employees and the organization. Right now. So coming to the features. So what are the features of the uh, executive development or managerial development? first one is planned and organized process okay so planned and organized process this is the first feature relating to the executive development okay so uh, planned means so here executive development means the organization okay designs some activities for the improvement of the executives for the improvement of the managers okay so for that purpose the planning is needed in order to execute those activities okay so a planning is needed there to perform the activities in the organization okay and also it will be in a organized process a, a, a proper steps will be maintained okay uh, an organized process will be there after uh, the steps will be taken clearly so here the plans will be defined clearly okay so that is the first feature of the executive development for example here the organizations are designing the activities okay wherever the uh, education is needed wherever the training is needed for the employees in all levels of management okay they will analyze the, those and they will try to give training okay to those employees okay okay so therefore in order to give training to those employees definitely certain training program is needed okay so if at all they want to give training program to those people so first of all they have to plan which training should be given at which place okay the timings uh, at the same time what is the process of the training so all these will be in the executive development program coming to second one never ending exercise still the organization is there okay so the process of this executive development is also will be there why because if at all there is no in improvement in the employees performance means definitely organizations may not see any growth in the organization or profits in the organization uh, whenever the employees are continuously increasing their capabilities and skills then only organizations growth can be seen so this can be happened only whenever uh, training facilities were given to them proper training facilities or else uh, knowledge uh, uh, improving uh, programs were conducted okay then only these employees may enhance their capabilities enhance their knowledge okay all things can be happened so therefore every organization tries to uh, give a training facilities or else uh, imparting knowledge and skills to the employees in the organization therefore it is 
a never ending exercise till the organization is there all these programs will be conducted now coming to long term process so definitely uh, imparting knowledge imparting skills imparting potentialities okay all these are not a short term progress or process it is a long term process executive development means definitely it till the employee is there in the organization definitely his improvement will be considered by the organization okay therefore employee development means it is a long term process so next one is proactive proactive means see we know that businesses are uncertain we cannot expect okay the unforeseen situations will be there so in order to compete those unforeseen situations okay that definitely uh, the managers or the people the executives who are working in the organization at all levels of management they should be able to solve those problems okay they they must be uh, in a position to handle those problems so if if at all they want to overcome those problems means definitely they have to know about each and everything what is going on in the external environment okay and at the same time they have to be up to date with the technological advancements according to the changing environments they should also change so then only they can be very proactive uh, okay if at all any problem arises means they can actively solve those problems so proactive means without coming only uh, the problems okay before only they are preparing for that okay so that is known as proactive it is next one is it's guided self development so imparting knowledge skills competencies okay efficiencies all these will be the development regarding to the pers person that is known as the employee in the organization so it is purely the self development of each and every employee working in the organization okay this is another feature coming to aim set preparing efficient and effective managers the main of the aim of the organization is you know uh, 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 accomplishing the objectives of the organization and the growth of the organization so these can be fulfilled only if at all the working people in our organization are efficient and effective then only we can achieve our objectives okay and also we can expand our organizations but so therefore here the aim of the organization will be to create to develop efficient and effective managers in the organization by imparting knowledge skills potentialities capabilities abilities etc okay so it it involves stresses and strains okay definitely every organization's employee undergoes stress and strain it why because it depends upon the work they are going to perform in the organization definitely each and every employee will be evaluated the performance of the employee will be evaluated according to the evaluation of the performance incentives will be given to them so therefore every employee undergoes stresses why because if at all they perform well means okay incentives will be given or else the punishment will be given okay so therefore every employee will face a stress and strain and at the same time okay whenever uh, Uh, they are going for uh, any new activities okay which are given by the organizations so in learning process also they undergo some stress and strain okay now coming to last one conductive environment here conductive environment uh, means providing the right conditions for something good to happen or exist in the organization so that is the feature of this Uh, executive development so creating a good environment in the organization means so the activities will be designed to improve the performance of the employees in the organization okay so for that some better training facilities or else sending them to some conferences conducting seminars likewise some imparting knowledge okay uh, programs will be conducted by the organization so definitely they are 
effective programs for both the organization and also the employee okay so a conductive environment good environment positive environment will be created by the organization while imparting knowledge and skills to the employees okay so these are the features regarding the executive development now coming to objectives so what were the objectives so first one is knowledge to new entrants so knowledge to new entrants means so whenever we hire new employees to our organization okay definitely they have to uh, uh, accustomed to our organization accustomed to the job position okay he has to know about the roles and responsibilities of the job position therefore definitely he need some knowledge regarding the job position and at the same time he should know about the policies and procedures of the organization okay what is the current state of the industry okay what is happening in the external environment regarding their product okay so all this knowledge can be uh, imparted to the new employee in the organization okay through uh, which means means definitely so some methods will be followed okay by the organization through those methods this knowledge will be imparted to the employees the new entrants at the, at the same time the existing employees also okay so first objective is that coming to second one improving the performance so improving the performance means definitely uh, the managerial personnel okay to reduce the gap between the existing level of performance and desired level okay definitely the performance will be increased by uh, taking some uh, training okay or else uh, imparting uh, knowledge skills okay from the external environment okay so definitely it improves the performance of the managers okay why because they will learn the conceptual theories okay uh, the theoretical knowledge okay practical experience all these gained by the uh, training okay so therefore it improves the performance next coming to preparing managers for future positions okay so here uh, this these activities why the development activities were conducted by the organization means okay they are preparing the managers for future positions also okay for that purpose also for example there is an assistant manager okay next he will go for the manager position afterwards general manager likewise the advancement in their positions will be there in future okay so it is dependent upon their performance so therefore if at all they improve their performance if at all they enhance their performance definitely they will see a career uh, or else advancement in their future positions so this executive development programs definitely helps those managers preparing managers so therefore we are the organization is preparing the managers for higher positions okay so definitely present position uh, roles and responsibilities okay may be uh, lower than the future positions or else the advancement in the positions so definitely they have to increase their performance levels depending upon the advancement in their job positions or else the promotions in their job positions okay so for that these executive development programs will be helpful so that is another objective so organizations another objective is preparing the managers next one is another objective is preventing obsolescence so obsolescence means it is nothing but the old things or else the ancient ones likewise obsolescence obsolete means deleted or else uh, not using we are not using so if at all executive development programs are conducting means okay those employees also know about the new things and also they try to use the things new methods or else some old methods are also obsolete due to not uh, used by the employees in the organizations so all this can be prevented by going for the executive development programs so there each and everything will be known 
or else everything will be imparted to the employees okay so therefore preventing obsolescence okay by not using those things we can prevent okay we have to use each and every method in the organization we have to follow each and every theory principles for the growth of the organization okay so another objective is developing latest management techniques okay so the uh, executive development program main aim is main objective is developing the latest management techniques okay so in external environment okay many uh, things may be happening new technology technological advancements new techniques okay may be evolved so we have to know the employees working in the organization or else the new entrants they all should know what is going on what is currently happening so therefore they have to adopt okay or else they have to develop the latest management techniques all these can be happened only whenever executive development programs are held in the organization okay then only employees enable to know what is going on okay what were the new things going on next one opportunities to executives definitely in order to give an opportunity to executives okay so the organizations are conducting these executive development programs so whenever these programs were conducted definitely the employees or the executives okay they will grab those opportunities uh, okay they personally they cannot learn each and everything okay but these uh, organizations okay they facilitate to their employees to learn new things okay they give opportunity and those opportunities will be used by these executives okay by undergoing those executive development programs now coming to optimum utilization of managerial resources okay another objective is you utilizing fully to the maximum level okay we should in order to use the managers managerial resources to the maximum extent okay definitely if at all uh, if at all uh, the organization imparts him the knowledge the skills abilities whenever uh, whenever we, we the organization imparts those knowledge uh, the skills the potentialities abilities definitely the it enhances the managers performance so thus the organization may utilize maximumly optimum utilization of managerial resources can be seen okay so these are the objectives regarding the executive development